everybody, my name is Zip20, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. We're on our home base! It's all built thanks to Bradleman and Ismail. All our crewmates are strewn about, and we're about to have a meeting. So, it's pretty awesome. Go up these steps to a meeting. It's amazing what, like, a um, hundred thousand bucks can do. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I know there's a balcony out there. There's someone out there too, cool. Tika Tika, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting that mood fish. Ah, finally! I gotcha, you little fart. <laughs> Tika Tika, you have amazing balance. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, Captain, did you know you can see the entire island from up here? Nothing to report today. Well, except for the fact that Ismail ate Bradman's lunch when <laughs> he wasn't looking. <laughs> what a view! Pretty cool. I don't think he should be bouncing up there, though, man. Anyway, whatever. Let's go have a meeting. This is our meeting room. Pretty exciting. What a meeting room. Holy smokes. Hmm. It's still hard for me to believe that Ismail turned this deserted island to a base. Uh -huh. Vice, Iga, Enrique? Thank you for everything you've done so far. You've managed to get three of the moon crystals. I never would have made it this far on my own. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, Fina. You don't have to thank us. Uh huh. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't think we'd have ever gotten the chance to sail around the world. We should be thanking you. <laughs> Fina, I don't know if you realize it yet, but your mission was has helped us all, and we've all grown to be such good friends. <laughs> yes, thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Until recently, I've lived a sheltered life. I was scared when the elders asked me to search for the moon crystals, and I was alone. Since then, I made some great friends, and I've got, and I get excited when we explore new lands, even the ones with monsters. Yeah, when you first heard that what we did for a living, you seemed really surprised, almost intimidated, You're sounding more like an air pirate every day. Before you know it, you'll be dressed like us, and Cupid will be wearing an eye patch. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. Do you know where we should go to get the next moon crystal? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. To the far south lies the land that basks in the ice cold the purple moon. It is known as the land of ice. Purple moon crystal should be hidden there. Land of ice. Purple moon is a source of power for all ice magic. And because of that, the lands under the moon have become encased in ice. I've heard stories about that place. Some of the other others back home used to tell me about the rumors that they heard. Oh great. I heard that the air is so cold that anyone who goes there will be frozen solid in a matter of seconds. I don't want to have to chisel you out of the ice vice. Where do you get these stories? First I was going to catch on fire, then the people were going to eat me with sticks, now I'm going to freeze? Getting the crystals is not going to be easy, but I think your overactive imagination is getting the best of you. What do you mean? Alright, fine. When you become a bicycle, don't come crying to me. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be alright. I doubt it's that cold, Heika. Well, according to our Valuan ar archaeologists, beneath the layers of ice lies a ruin of an ancient city. The ruins have been undisturbed since the old world. Unfortunately, no one has ever been able to break through the ice. All we have been able to do is observe the ruins from the sky. So we don't really need 
to go over there because it's impossible to get the crystal. Hmm. Well, I was thinking... Brown said that the hull has been reinforced, right? If the hull's strong enough to break through the stone reef, perhaps is strong enough to break through the ice. That might work. We might bust through the ice with the Delphinus. The Delphinus can get through the ice, we can get to the crystal. Yeah, then it looks like our next destination is the south, to the land of ice. Yeah. Well, it looks like we've got a long journey ahead of us. I think we should take the rest of the day off and celebrate. Aye, aye! Aye, aye. Oh, they said it. in my room, man! This is my room. I got books. That's awesome. Ricky, are you up, buddy? Safe to come in? He's up already. Way to go. Do I dare take a peek at the girl's room? <laughs> don't do that, Vice. There's enough perverts in this game already. You don't need to add to it. <laughs> Did you finish my... Preparations, lady. Okay. I didn't buy anything in between parts because I was so excited to start recording and... Well, I've been recording two or three straight now. Since we left Yafatuma, um... My day off is how I'm doing. I'm going to buy a few items now. Let's see what we have. Pottery box, I have that, I have that. Um... Spell Sacri. It has several charges. I have one of those. Let's get... Not eleven. Let's get three of them. I don't want Panica, and I don't want Slipera. Selenus, eh, no. Okay. Before we head south, though, I would like to uh, go... pay a visit to the guild, or a guild and uh, drop off my moonfish to dock. So, before we do anything there, I'm gonna head towards Sailor's Island. Yee, Twirly, twirly. So, I think... Can you build anything for me now? Okay, where's the other guy? Stop eating people's sandwiches <laughs> or lunches. I did see a, an improvement on. Oh. Ship equipment. I didn't think you were being here. Ancient cannon. It's a little bit better. I saw worse. Arcwell torpedo. I got rid of my Serpent Torpedo. I will lose two speed, so that's probably the best thing to do. Let's put it right there. And... I will get rid of Twin Propellers. And... No. Chandelier, no. Complete kit, I will get 10 of them. 10 of those. Um, double the right of spirit restoration, let's get 3 of them. Shredder bomb, let's get 2 more. Even though I don't use them. Okay. Gossip. Such an air heavy. Better not be giving me the wrong parts or you'll be fired. <laughs> this must be your other crewmates. Yeah. Talking about Gilder. I have a bunch of different ships. I want one in my room, too. Seriously? Right on, man. Right on. 
All right, let's go. Turn my ship. How did we even get that in there? <laughs> did anyone explain that? <laughs> so I'm supposed to go south, which is. I was already. I, I guess down here. All right, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to go to Sailor's Island. It's over this way. Uh, right there, I think. Uh, a little bit more wet. A little bit more weast. That's pretty. Oh, look at all the fish! Got him. Alright, this is the quickest way to get there. So I'll go to, um, Sailor's, uh, not Sailor's Island. I will go to, uh, Sea Dock. Well, I have to go to Sailor's Island, that's a lie. I need to, uh... I'm still using silver for... I think... Ake is close to another... rank, but, like, I, I know I don't have to keep everyone on the same color, because I'll get rank points too. Um, yeah, go to Sailor's Island and turn in some of my discoveries and see if uh, Angel Death has another hit on me. <laughs> she might! I didn't think so. Aiko might be able to do it, though. Yeah, run away, you coward. That was fun. It was fun. It was indeed. Yeah, she got 12. Or Rika got 12 more to go. I thought it was Fina. That's alright. Like I said, I can just... Um... Switch it out. Where's Sailor's Island from here? Okay. Track straight ahead. Looking for dock ship though. That's all I need to find is dock ship, which looks like it's right there. I don't know how many I have to turn in, it's a few. So I'll do what I did the last time I had a bunch to cash in. If it evolves, I'll show the evolution. Other than that, I'll just show um, what items we get. There we go. Here go. These, are, these are no match. Could run away, but I don't want to lose experience either. Yeah. Nice. Wasted a 700, almost 800 crit there the other day. Oh, I had some champs too. I shouldn't be feeding some champs. Yeah. That was easy. Twas easy indeed, man. Twas easy. Yeah, I'll sell that. Doc! Come here, man! <laughs> I has Moonfish. Hi. Yes, I have. Let's feed it. Tasty, tasty. Barf! <laughs> Should be used to that by now. Magilix Idol. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me these fish for me. Whoa! But Maria! <laughs> for you, Maria, it's no problem at all. If it's moonfish you want, just leave it up to me. I'm gonna bring you more than you ever, you'll, you'll ever need. Yeah. Thank you! Aw, oh, she's talking! Thank you, Vice. Maria's slowly becoming herself again. I owe everything to you. I don't know what to say. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Ah, oh, come on, Doc. 
Fuck it off. Don't get all teary eyed at me. I'll just keep gathering fish to make her happy, okay? You know, you remind me of a man I used to work with. He's a lot like you. Honest, kind. The kind of guy that everyone likes. Well, he was a little more refined than you, though. His name was Ramirez. I hear he's been promoted to a position of admiral in the Velu Armada now. Huh? Ramirez? Huh? You guys know him? Well, more or less. Doc, can you tell us what you know about Ramirez? Uh, sure. Well, I was right to come here today. It was a long time ago, back when I was still working for Admiral Mendoza in the Valuan Armada. We were sailing around mid-ocean when we encountered a ship of the legs we've never seen before. And aboard the ship was Ramirez. He was an odd fellow, to say the least. I distinctly remember the clothing he had on. Very unusual. But Ramirez turned out to be as intelligent and as he was good with a blade. Admiral Mendoza knew grew to like him rather quickly. Admiral Mendoza saw that he had potential and began training him to become an officer of the Valuvan Armada. He had high hopes for him. We were all surprised at how little he knew about the world, but he was so honest and so sincere that everyone loved him. And I, too, was glad to have a crewmate who seemed trustworthy, someone I could call a friend. Ramirez, from this day forth, you are a member of the Blue and Armada. Hold your chin high. Thank you very much for all your help, my lord. Way to go, Ramirez. I always knew you'd make the cut. Thank you, too, Doctor. Oh, come on. You can stop calling me Doctor all the time. Everyone just calls me Doc. <laughs> you two never change. I just wanted to let you know the two of you are like sons to me, the sons I never had. I hope that I hope I can count on you as my right hand man. My lord. You're being a little greedy there, aren't you, my lord? My lord already has two lovely daughters of his own, yet he wants sons too. <laughs> That's not what I mean. All I'm saying is that you two can count on me as you would a father. My lord, I thank you. You do not know how much that means to me. Who would have thought that Doc Ramirez used to be buddies? Alright, Maria, I hear you. I'll be there in a second. Vice, please feel free to come by and visit whenever you want. I'm sure Maria and her little feathered friend will be happy to see you. But don't forget to bring more moonfish with, with you. I'm sure there's plenty more still out there somewhere. Yeah, we're slowly, like, decreasing the population of moonfish. I'm not done. I have more. Get back here. <laughs> Hi. And at least three more. Well, I'll show this one and I'll cut to the items unless it evolves or there's another cutscene like there was just then. It was crazy. Barf! Ghost mail! Sort of deck it. Gold bullion. Oh, it's evolving. Now it looks like a Hershey kiss with a curl on it. With that with a Elvis cut. I don't know. <laughs> They give me a wicked item now. Kind of 
Constitution Gym. Defensive Aura. Thank you. Thank you, Vice. Piccolo says thank you, too. <laughs> His name's Piccolo, huh? Cute name. Tell him that I'll bring him even more fish next time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Maria can actually talk to that bird? Sure seems like it. I don't know for sure, though. But either way, it looks like they're understanding each other at some level. Now that I think about it, even her older sister... Um, Doc? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought. Doc, please, tell me about Ramirez when you first knew him. I must know. I need to know what happened to him, what changed him, so... Hmm, sounds like you got a pretty personal reason for wanting to know. Very well. I told you about Ramirez and I, how Ramirez and I met, right? Well, soon after that, we were sent to Ixitaka just after Valua began to occupy the area. What's wrong, Ramirez? Ever since we got to Ixitaki, you look troubled. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Well, if I may speak freely, I feel that Valu is wrong in its ways, in the way I, it treats the Ixitakans. Hey, wait a minute there, Ramirez. Putting the people into slavery, forcing them to mine for moonstones, and all for Valua's profit, it's horrible. Ramirez. Ramirez, you're absolutely right. I, as a father of two, feel the same way. I feel a sadness deep in my heart for the play of the people of Ixitaka. How is this, and I will personally express these, this grievance to the Empress herself. Let me deal with it, Ramirez. Thank you, my lord. One day we ran into Admiral Galcian in Ixitaka. Back then, Lord Galcian was just under... just another Admiral of the Armada. The stories of his military prowess were spreading rapidly. Actually, the reason why Valuva was so easily so easily conquered Ixitaka and occupied it was due to the great military feats of Lord Galcian. Of course, Mirez went straight to Galcian, being the root of all the evils in Ixitaka. Ixitaka. Lord Galcian, how can you treat the Ixitakans like this? It's despicable. Ramirez, you can't talk to an admiral, or can't talk like that to an admiral. Stay out of this, Doc. This has nothing to do with you. No matter what happens, I know Admiral Mendoza will stand up for me. Admiral Mendoza. <laughs> Fool. What did you say? How dare you speak ill of Admiral M Mendoza? I will not stand here and let you tarnish his honor. It was not Mendoza that I called a fool. It was you, boy, who followed him so blindly. That is, is the fool. What did you say? People are not to be trusted. Depend on a person too much and they'll betray your trust sooner or later. I only believe in power. Power will never betray you. And that is why I search these lands for an even greater power. And if such power exists, I swear it shall be mine. You will someday understand the meaning of my words. When that day comes, I'll be awaiting you. That was the first time Ramirez and Galician had ever met. If I had only stopped Ramirez back then, things may have turned out much differently. Uncle Doc! Alright. Wait a second, Maria. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since she started talking again, Maria stopped using the bell, and now she calls me by my name. It's always makes, and it always makes me feel weak in the knees whenever she calls me uncle. <laughs> such a sucker for those pretty little eyes. Alright, let's get out of your way. You're probably busy anyway. We'll 
talk more about Ramirez another time, okay? Sure thing, don't forget to bring more moonfish. Do I still have more moonfish? Probably. Man, we're getting some story on Ramirez. It's crazy. I'm actually going to end up here today because I don't know how much i got to cut out and there's been a lot of cutscenes. But uh, next day I will start here, I will turn in my bounty, and if I have moonfish, which I think I do... Stop gossiping! Uh, I think I still have a couple left. I don't know. Maybe not. Moonberries... I didn't see any, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Uh, no. I'll check out the items that we got last day, too. No, I don't think I have any left. Nope. Unless they're somewhere else. Maybe they're over here. Uh, maybe not. Okay, whatever. Um, check out the items, and, um... Uh, go in there. And then we'll start heading south, I guess. I don't know. I'm Azuka23 for watching, and we'll see you next video.